All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we'll be opening two of these Ice River AL0 boxes, set them up, and I wanna open, I have two of these miners. I mean, by the way, they came to the wrong door, and so I don't have the PSU, but no worries, because I do have the extra PSUs, and we also be testing them on 12 volts, uh, so, like usually the pretty good packaging that I like to keep from the Ice River and the Miner, you already have seen it, looks exactly the same as K0 Ultra or Pro uh, with the same four fins over here, the 45 degree fins, so that's a newer actually uh, body. The previous one was from K0 Original that they used. Uh, interesting, they didn't tape one side. Huh. It's the first time I've seen that. Anyways, uh, we got the second one, no PSU. They didn't put it accidentally. For me, like great, greater good miner, he got his PSU somehow, I don't know. Anyways, uh, it's all good. We are ready to set this two big boys up. So I'll be taking apart one of this and I'll connect one of this to the network. All right, so I have this connected to network and I'll be using my um, regular 1000 watt PC PSU. I connected, I have this made up already, I have a bunch of video how to make this connection. And I'll be testing this on 12 volts. So I have this adapter and connect to the XT60 and we'll be just connect to 12 volt because uh, while we're not overclocking, let's see if this actually gonna work. Um, because we're not gonna overclock, can't even push it in. We probably, something wrong with this actually connector. Need to get different one, all right, so let's make sure. All right, we connected that and I'm connecting to 12 volts and we'll see if that's gonna start. So it looks like it's okay. We'll see if it's gonna start blinking green like always. So it looks like a similar, we have 18, 19 watts right now at the wall. So we'll see how much power we are using on a 12 volt system. And um, I'll report back just in a few minutes while we're gonna take apart the second unit. All right, so let's take apart this guy. We'll be unscrewing the six screws. All right, so We'll be taking apart. Oh, we need to take care of this cover. Let's take this one out. All right, so we took that warranty sticker. So pretty much you out of warranty when you do that. So make sure don't do that. Just uh, if you don't know, you're gonna lose your warranty. So if you're okay doing that. So anyways, let's open up and see how it looks on the inside here. Okay, nothing different. And by the way, we have similar MOSFETs, um, all these capacitors. I don't know, it looks very, very similar. Let's see, let's take apart and see what kind of chips we have. Same fans looks like. I will be disconnecting, let's take apart this and we'll see what type of chips we have. And we can solder, actually, I'm gonna solder, get ready for, if any possible overclocks, it will be ready to go, so. And we can actually glue heat sinks here as well, so. Yeah, so definitely looks like different chips. 24, 29, guys. Uh, let's turn around here. 24, 29. Uh, and the Casper Ultra is 24, 20, I believe, right? So yeah, 24, 29. So that's not, not the Casper chips, obviously. So 
we can't do nothing with the firmware on the Caspa miners. That's all completely different chips, I guess. Um, but we'll be testing. We'll be uh, playing around, see what we can do with the with this unit. So let's clean this unit. By the way, I figured how we can clean this uh, old uh, pink stuff. I'll show you in a second. So we're gonna get rid of this pink paste. Although it's pretty good, actually. The paste been holding all right, but because I took it apart, I just need to re repaste it. So. The way I clean this is actually with, with this brush and the blower. So I turn the blower and then the brush takes out pretty nicely. All right, and when it's done, it's pretty clean. It's like a minimum of that pink stuff there between the chips and anywhere around. So I like how it's done with, the, with this brush and the wind when it's blowing. All the air is just pushing out all the exceeded or extra uh, thermal paste. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna glue, I'm gonna solder first uh, connector right there, positive and negative for my 12 volt mining and repaste, put it back together and we'll put heat sinks. All right, so I pasted all the chips with the thermal paste MX6. All right, so. Solder the uh, XT60 female connector, so it's all ready to go. And we're gonna put it back in the case right there. All right, so looks like I'm out of my heat sinks. I only found one, which is kind of weird. But anyways, uh, tomorrow I should get some more. But I'll be, uh, I'll just put this on the test for now, and uh, we'll be ready to put all of the rest of the heat sinks here. Uh, the point of this video just to show basically all the insides of this miner. And so we're putting back in our fan connectors here for now. I'm not gonna flip the fans yet, but uh, probably should, but uh, at this point, because I still need to open, probably modify that, I'll just keep it up the way it is and I'll cover back we'll put back on line and and see if we can mine with these two guys uh, so I'll update you in the next video um, for it's pretty much it for this video guys and we'll see you on the next one so we basically can mine on the 12 volt no problem it looks like the other miner just mining fine uh, it's yeah it's got kind of warm it's uh, warmed up to the temperature pretty hot like normal normally the ks ultra k0 ultra would do so yeah al0 is very similar i would be surprised if they cannot be overclocked you know so that means the hash rate probably gonna go very high very soon right with the al1 coming on the mark on the network there in a week or so so we will see this huge jump this miners already only making three dollars a day or four dollars a day revenue right so from quickly from the It was just eight dollars a few days ago anyways we'll see you guys next time once i update uh let them run and update you on the next video thanks for watching have a good day 120 watts at the wall it was about 18 watts without the miner so it's about 103 watt i guess right um very close so let's connect this guy Make sure we're getting power on on this or not. Something different with this guy.
Alright, peace out.